we have an awesome video in store for you guys because me and my buddy Ryan made the long trek all the way down to West Virginia to fish the famous New River. This river is loaded with big smallies. It's got some class go. three, Woo. class four rapids. And we're actually fishing it with a guide called NBD Fishing. Some interesting facts about the, the New River is the flow actually goes from south to north. I've never seen that on a river system before, so it's pretty unique. And it's also the oldest river in the United States, if not the world. I think there's one other river that's older and that's the Nile, but chances are I'm not going there to catch big smallmouth. I just plan on using nothing but bigger baits. I'll go over some of the tackle after we get into the Airbnb. I'll also leave a link in the description for that for you guys to check out if you want to stay at the same place. But yeah, we're going to throw some, some bigger baits. Hopefully it pays off. Hopefully we catch a lot of fish. And hopefully some of those fish are freaking giants. Let's check out this spot here. A little bit pricey, but there's only like two available Airbnbs for this time. Might as well get a nice one. Nice kitchen area. First sign. Good food, good friends good times we got one bedroom over here cool dining room area awesome couch pretty big tv another bedroom over here and the third bedroom's over here we got multiple places to take poops the last thing i want to show you guys is the little view out on the back porch Awesome view out here. Cool little table. Got a grill. We're about to fire up some brats real quick. Yeah, buddy. I'm I'm starving, bro. Oh, dude. Got Utensils. Got everything. Oh, yeah. Chef Boyard all it up. <laughs> so here's some of the baits that I'm using here. Brought a whole crap load of bigger swim baits. And the majority of these are confidence baits for me. I've caught a lot of fish on a lot of these baits. Some of which I painted, like this little guy right here. Little knockoff Rashi Glide, painted that dude. Got some stuff like some uh, segmented swim baits, this little five inch BD shad. Fish 30 acre dirty shads. Got some big dog mag drafts. Little creeper all American trash fish. This thing freaking slays. Then we got stuff like the Mega Bass mag draft right here. Awesome bait. Got the Zal Dangerous Bass Mafia swim bait that's pretty similar to the Mag Draft. Then we got the Osakana Slide 170. It's a pretty sweet glide bait, but it's soft plastic, line through system. And just a whole bunch of other swim baits. We're going to throw this stuff primarily, maybe some tubes, maybe some jigs and some chatter baits. You ready to smash them today, man? I'm ready. You said this is the biggest, one of the bigger ones? Yeah, this is probably the biggest one today. All right, that's reassuring. <laughs> the only reason I'm on the right is because I know if it kicks me around, that's going to help stop me. I'll, that, that little bit of a wave will slow me down. Ooh, that felt like a fish. How you doing? <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, got one. Finally. You done any good today? This is our first one. We throw everything in the world at them. Come on, come on, come on. Mag draft. But we just switched to some faster stuff, too. Oh, hell yeah. Get it. 
Yes, dude! Woo! Yes, dude, on the mag draft. Finally got the first fish of the day. We've been out here probably five hours. Nice, chunky, small mouth, probably 17 inches. Hell yeah, that's a nice smallie, yeah, dude. On the yeah, six inch mag draft right here. Nice, dude. It's been a struggle about today, Gus. Yeah, he's probably about 17 and a half, I'd say. Nice. Thank you. The big bait finally paid off. Awesome fish on the mag draft. See you, buddy. Woo! So it happened, my GoPro video froze up at the very beginning of the catch. It still recorded the audio, but I mean, the audio is pretty much useless. Thankfully, I had my buddy Ryan there to take this sweet pick of that nice smallie. We caught it on the edge of a creek mouth that was near deeper water. My GoPro kept freaking dying on me. It happened like two or three times. I think I lost two catches. Ooh. It looks like it's straight ahead of us. There is something. They're over there to the right just a little bit, yeah. Oh, here we go, woo! Yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! Mr. Reindahl, what are your predictions for the day? Well, I don't know. It was a tough day yesterday, but Matt caught a couple of good ones on the mag draft. So we tied up a freestyle on an underspin, BKK, half ounce. We're going to try to get a couple big bites in the morning and adjust. So we'll see what happens. What are your predictions for the day, sir? Uh, at least 120. 120. That's a good goal to have, man. You think it's going to be on a big bait or a smaller bait or moving bait? I think it's a 50 50 chance. <laughs> Either one. Either a tube or a big bait. Oh, got a monster, dude. Oh, no, dude. Musky, no, dude. Oh, dude. Dude, I yanked on him, bro. God, I cannot believe I just missed a musky. He was in the shallows by these rocks, and we already hit this like several times. Just didn't get a deep hook into him for some reason. He didn't slice up my bait either. But dude, as soon as I hooked into him, I knew he had some weight on him. You were right, dude. You said there was going to be musky over here. There's freaking musky. There you go. That's a nice smallie, dude. A on the spinner bait. Nice. About 15 and a half. She hammered it, dude. Dude, smoked it in that little micro, Eddie. Right on the bank. Let him go. Hopefully that's a pattern. <laughs> didn't even get the hit on video but it feels nice now oh yeah oh that's a big one dude <laughs> yeah let's go let it drop to the bottom baby Woo! Yeah. dude yeah that's what i'm talking about baby dude look at that thing boys i didn't get the bite on camera but look at that thing dude i let it sit all the way on the bottom and started reeling it in she was way down there 
Yes, dude. Top of the mouth. Yes, sir. I mean, that's a 18 and a half, probably 19. Pushing 19, I'd say. I'm guessing she's 19. Uh, 1875. Tail pinch right at 19, probably. That's 19 all day, almost. Yeah, with the tail pinch. Nice, dude. Sweet. Yeah. The pictures? Yeah. That was super fun. <laughs> she was down there probably yeah. 8 to 10 feet, way down there. Look at that beast, dude. On the mag draft, baby. I can't seem to put this mag draft down. This six in, six inch mag draft. Let's let her go. See you later, buddy. What to say about that? Well, yeah, let's do it again. I couldn't have done it without our guide over here, Chad. No bad days fishing. Put us on some fish let's get back out there and do it again yes dude that's what i'm talking about hell yeah oh got one yeah feels decent maybe oh i'll boat flip boom yes sir <laughs> thank you sir 16 yeah probably 16 thick smallies dude still smashing the mag draft i know she's thick dude look how thick she is Whew. yep see you buddy Looks slippery as shit. Lunch time. We've been having a good time out here so far. Caught a decent amount of fish, but this wind is crazy. We got gusts up to 35 miles per hour. This guide over here is putting in work <laughs> just to get us down the river because the wind is blowing us back that way and we're supposed to go the opposite way i'm going to keep throwing this mag draft probably going to stay glued to my hands oh yeah. i got in the truck and was on my way back to he was in oklahoma nice dude uh, Oh, got him. Ah, yes. I got him. I got him. Woo! <laughs> One more to end the trip. That's what I'm talking about. Another probably seven, 16 and a half, 17. Another fat one? Yeah, fatty, dude. There we go, another beefy smallie on the mag draft, nothing down his throat. Thick, dude, he hit it like a ton of bricks. We're at the last half mile of a stretch, so it's good to get at least another one. I haven't caught a fish in probably two and a half hours. <laughs> All right, decent smallie, I'll take that. One more. One more. See you later, buddy. Thank you so much, buddy. It was a pleasure. One of the most memorable river floats I've ever been on, for sure. We had an awesome time down at the New River fishing for smallmouth with a NBD fishing. Felt totally safe with that dude. He took us down some decent sized rapids. I, I wasn't scared at all. The wind was freaking insane. We had 35 mile per hour winds blowing us upstream and trying to navigate through some of those rapids was a chore. Not for me, but for the guy, but he powered through it and we made it home safely. So. 
The bait of the trip is this Mega Bass Mag Draft. This is a six inch version. I forget what color it is. I'll leave a link in the description. One of the interesting parts about the way I rigged it with this swim bait hook, this weighted swim bait hook, is this is actually a smaller hook. I use it to prevent snags. It barely sticks out of the top of it. It still has a decent hookup ratio. And the other reason I use this smaller six aught hook is because smallmouth will smash the head. <laughs> this hook is closer to the head. So that's one of the other reasons. You could put a bigger hook in there. There's plenty of room for a bigger hook. This bait did damage. This bait tore him up and the fish actually tore this bait up. Check out. Yeah, it's a little beat up. She put in work, but she caught us some decent fish. It was kind of a struggle out there, guys. No lie. Like day one, I only caught two fish, but I, was, I wasn't throwing the mag draft all day either. I tried everything I could think of. I tried tubes, I tried segmented swim baits and the faster current. So a couple of the patterns that we figured out is right where creeks come into the river, if it's a little bit deeper there and it's a little bit more protected and it has rocks and there's some current, there's some faster current right outside, that's where we were finding some of the smallmouth. Um, we also found them in uh, some shallow stuff that was just outside of some faster current as well. I was just basically bumping this thing off the rocks and every once in a while, I would get thumped. I think we could have caught more fish, but that wind, like I said earlier, it was freaking crazy. It seemed like every time I caught a fish, and by the time I got done talking on the video and we got some pictures or a release, we were like 70 to 100 yards down the stream. And with that wind, we just couldn't get back upstream to get back in position to catch some more fish. So. We still had a blast out there with NBD Fishing. I will leave a link in the description for you guys to check out. Highly suggest if you guys go down to the New River, check that dude out. It was a blast. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Just to let you guys know, I have some sweet trips planned. Like in a week, I'm going to Norris Lake for like three or four days. And then two weeks later, I'm going to the smallmouth giant factory that is known as Lake St. Clair and hopefully I could get a personal best smallmouth. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, my background went away. It was all blurry and stuff. It looked really cool. I'm good. I don't know. It was, I pressed and hit the subside.